What's up guys and welcome back to Blanche vs. Zombies Guarded Warfare 2 and today we have a special guest! It's Doc the Cat, who is sitting next to me because she was feeling lonely. Oh, Well that's okay, she's gonna be my little buddy as we record this video. And today what we're gonna be doing... <laughs> oh boy. Uh, today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be checking out the PVZ Heroes Link Pack. Basically, there have been plans for Zombies Heroes customizables that have made their way into Garden Warfare 2. And if you link your EA account both to your Garden Warfare 2 account and to your PVZ Heroes account, you can actually get these items. As you can see here, the mailbox says, Team Up, you've successfully linked your PVZ Heroes game to, e to your EA account. Unwrap your link pack to get two special edition heroes customizations. So that's pretty cool. And I think there was another one like, let's see, Lawn of Doom pack. We know about that. New hero showcase, character import, player loyalty. All right then. So we, we know about everything there. And with that being said, I will show a few screenshots here, show you guys who might be confused about this, how you can link your PVZ Heroes account to your EA account. Now, here's the thing make sure that, like, if you're a PS4 player, right? Make sure that your PSN is linked to the EA account that your EA account you're gonna be linking your PVZ Heroes is. Make sure it's all the same account. If it's two different accounts, it won't work. So, what you have to do in PVZ Heroes is press the gear on the top right, go to the blue settings button, and then go to the my account button. And then in the center of the three options will be link my EA account. And then you just put in whatever your email to the EA account is, you will get a email with the code, you put in the code and you have your accounts linked. If that is the same EA account as your Garden Warfare 2 game, then you will get yourself these two customizations. I don't really know which ones they are. I don't think, I don't know if you get two at random, but Looks like, oh, I think it is specifically Green Shadow on the Smash. So, the PVC Heroes Link Pack. Team up, you've successfully, we already read that. All right, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and we get ourselves the Green Shadow Pack, or the Green Shadow Special Hat, and the Smash Special Hat, which is very, very cool. Now, I have heard that there are other PVC Heroes hats and stuff. I don't know when we'll be getting those, if there will be a way to get them. Who knows, but for right now, we got the Smash and we got the Green Shadow, so why don't we go ahead and check those out? All right, so here is the Smash hat for the Super Brains. Now, of course, the Smash in PVZ Heroes is actually a Gargantuar, so of course he's not playable in the game is a Gargantuar, but um, you can see here that he's down here with the Halloween and Easter items. He is just a Smash hat, and it looks pretty detailed. It looks like the wrestling mas ma the mask you would see on the Smash, so I think that's really well detailed, and of course, we got what I prefer a little bit more is the pea shooter Green Shadow. And it sort of looks weird with the zebra setup. Maybe we'll show it without the zebra setup really quickly so that you can get an idea of what that looks like. So let's go all the way to none. And you can see here, this is what Green Shadow really looks like in the game, and it's very, very cool. The only thing that's missing is that Green Shadow does have like a cloak or a cape. She's supposed to be sort of like a mysterious dark character. It's like, if you blink, you miss her kind of thing. But still, it's very cool. I like the swooped leaf to make it look like it's a hairstyle. She's a very cool character in game one. I like playing a lot. So I figured that we would actually play her today, and then the next episode we'll play as Super Brains with the Smash. Maybe we'll even try different characters with the Green Shadow cap and just sort of see what it looks Looks like, but for right now, we might as well get started after I see why the mailbox is still bothering me. Um, okay, there it goes. <laughs> Either why don't we tr try to play some green shadow pea shooter? All right, so it looks like we're uh, just in the beginning of a game as soon as we spawn in here. Can I spawn in a plant? I cannot. Okay, now I can, if I wanted to, but I do not want to. But that's sort of the idea with it. It's very cool that you get PVZ Heroes customizations, but only if you are a PVZ Heroes player. And like I said, there should be more PVZ Heroes customizations coming to Garden Warfare 2. The question is when and how, right? Will it just be like this? Will it just at some point in time, if you have your game linked, will it just end up popping up? in your mailbox, or maybe for the future ones, we'll actually have to get something accomplished. I think that'd be pretty cool, you know? Like maybe there will be, you know, special missions you can accomplish in PVZ Heroes, and if you accomplish those, you will get these cosmetics in Garden Warfare 2. I think that would be a really cool mix. Now, of course, ever since PVZ Heroes first soft launch back in like, what, March? No, I think it was, maybe it was April or May you know, six or seven months ago, you know, when it was only, you know, available in like three countries of the world. I've been going on and on about some cool stuff that could eventually PVZ Heroes related make the way to Garden Warfare 2. I was thinking more that we would see more PVZ Heroes inspired variants. Like a, a big one that I always went on about that I think would have been really cool is having a smash, you know, the smash that we saw earlier on the Super Brains. It would be cool if there was a imp 
with the Smash styling. So if you don't know about the Smash of PvZ Heroes, he is a wrestler. He's like a pro wrestler with a mask and he looks like a luchador and all that kind of stuff. It's very cool. But he has a little agent on his back who is an imp and he's like collecting money. The idea is that like the Smash is the, the brawn and that imp is the brains kind of deal going on. So I think it would have been really cool if we could see an imp class where it was that little agent and maybe he's not so strong, right? Like maybe he has less health than the regular imps. His attack aren't very strong, maybe he throws coins at people, that'd be really funny. But then his mech is not a mech, but is the smash, and the smash is the strongest mech. And it's sort of that mixture, right? So it's like you have the the weakest imp with the strongest quote unquote mech. I think that would have been a really cool class idea and it would fit well with PvZ heroes. So maybe we'll see that one day, maybe we won't, but currently we just have the smash in super brains form. And it doesn't look bad. And even keeping it as simple as it is, you know, it's still pretty nice. So let me throw that out there and just try to hide from him. We're playing pretty decently right now, I have to say. Like, I'm not playing like super crazy good or nothing, but I'm having fun just hopping around. It's cool playing as the green shadow. It just, it feels cool. Like, it just fits so well with the pea shooter. Now, what's cool is that the pea shooter in Garden Warfare 2 is commonly referred to as a he. Like, even the game says that the pea shooter is a he in Garden Warfare 2, while green shadow is a sheen. Does it matter too much? No, but I just, I think it's cool that, you know, PBZ Heroes is the first game with playable female zombies, from my knowledge. And that, I just think that's really cool that, you know, the world is expanding for the game. But I was also sort of hoping that maybe one day we would see a green shadow um, class for the P shooter. I don't think we will now because I think it'd be weird if there was a PVZ Heroes green shadow customization and a green shadow class just because that doesn't make too much sense. What happens if the green shadow tries to wear the green shadow hat, you know? Like that wouldn't make too much sense. But um, it would have been cool. I don't know what the class would have been like. Maybe having like a super powerful main shot that doesn't do, you know, like that has like, slow reload time, you know, like, because that's sort of like Green Shadow's special move, right? She can do five damage down the center lane. And if you don't know, I play PvZ Heroes all the time with viewers and just um, on camera, we have 45 episodes up on the channel right now. It's a lot of fun, it's a really fun game. One of my favorite games of the year so far, you know, like with Gun Warfare 2, so. Okay, let's go ahead and try to beat some people up here. I wanna get on the point, I just don't know if it's the best idea right now. I'm just trying to land these shots from where I can. If you get those direct shots, they do so much damage, but even just spamming the splash damage is really good. I mean, I might try to play some other variants here soon enough, but I think that, of course, this is gonna work best with the normal pea shooter because that's what it looks like in PvZ Heroes. But it's still fun just running around. You know, it's like, I like making videos on the customizations like this simply because it's like, I mean, really, it's the idea that I like being able to you know, play some of the classes we've already played, but for a different reason, and that way we get to earn up some more experience with these classes, and I get to play classes I normally don't. So it's always fun, and it gives me more to talk about, and I like talking, that's why I have a YouTube channel. Let's beat up this guy if we can, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, where is this dude at? I saw him jumping around, now he disappeared. Oh, he's right there, now he's gone. Oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Didn't even see him. All right, I might just chill out here for a few moments. See if anybody else pops up. I don't think they will though. And okay, then let's go ahead, and I'm just gonna go ahead and chili beam this right there. And that's not gonna get to him, but that's okay. Because I can get to everybody else. That's nice, that's nice. Nobody else is on the point besides me, so I might be able to take it here. Back up, back up! Ah, oh, we almost got it there, all by ourselves. Everybody's beating me up right now. <laughs> we only need a tiny bit more point. If a few of my teammates could come on with me, we could really easily get that. It's really just waiting for the zombies to get distracted and then sneak onto the point. I think that, you know, being the sneaky green shadow that we are, I think we'll be able to do that pretty well. I'm sure that we blend in ever so slightly better. Oh, looks like somebody got the point. Because like, I mean, look at the area we're in right now. Lots and lots of purple, right? Well, look at our head. We must blend in it just a tiny bit more, you know? I mean, you know, instead of green, which sort of, you know, points out very well with the purple. Are you gonna heal me? Thank you, <laughs> just waiting for it. All right, so let's try to get this capped in a little bit. I mean, it just feels like there's a lot, like, a lot of cool stuff going on in Garden Warfare right now. You know, we got these PvZ Heroes customizations, which I'd love to hear your guys' idea on how we might actually end up seeing, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, can I get this goat? I'm trying to get the goat. <laughs> He's a fast one, though. A very fast goat, there you go. But, um, 
will we end up seeing the other PUZ heroes in the game as of customizations? And then also, you know, how will we end up getting them? I'd like to hear your guys' ideas, because you, you guys usually have pretty cool ideas when it comes to that kind of stuff. You know, I see this guy up here, and, and he's probably gonna give our Rose a hard time with the teleporters here, which it is. So, I would like to put an end to you. You got EMPed, but you still <laughs> were able to charge. Hmm. All right, then let's get up here. Oh, this is a nice spot for this, I think. Okay, maybe not exactly. <laughs> I got one vanquished. I can see their icon, which makes it a lot easier. Oh, I see you right here. I see you right here. Oh, if it wasn't for the icon, I'd be just like blind right now. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let me go ahead. I'm gonna go and sneak in through the waterfall. And just see if we can't pop a chili bean on the point. Might not get anybody, but it might just make them clear off. Whoa, what in the world just happened there? I just feel like a lot of weird combo of stuff happened there. I apparently got inputted though which sort of makes sense. But we'll just try to play this character for a little bit. I'll try for one more life, and then we'll go ahead and see if there's um, any other pea shooters that might look good. Oh, I was trying to get up there. That would have been a really good spot for the uh, turret, but um, we'll just do it here. Here, uh, I see you over here. Ooh, headshots, headshots, come on. Apparently I'm landing shots, but it's not doing any damage. That was weird. But um, we'll try any other pea shooter we might think might look good with everything. Okay, I just need to dodge it for a little bit so I can throw that over there and they should be sitting ducks. Ooh, yes, double vanquish, I'll take it. Can we get a third one right here? Ooh, probably, probably. He's not paying attention to me. That's good. This mech explodes. There's now just a scientist, but we took the point. Very good, very good. That was some teamwork then. Glad to see it. And I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he got me. All right then, this is not a problem. Poor Imp, don't revive me, don't revive me, don't revive me, don't do it, don't do it, I'm sorry, but I need to go ahead and try out the other classes. So who would look good with it? I think that, I think Toxic P would look just fine. Okay, let's go ahead. Ooh, I like that. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, because it's like, it's, I think it's a good mixture. The black eyes are a little weird with it, but besides that, it's a nice little mixture, I think. I mean, does the normal pea shooter have black eyes? I can't remember. <laughs> Probably. And let's go across them. I mean, cause there's just plenty of awesome PVZ heroes that like, you could all have like cool customizations, right? Like, you know, I was saying in the Torchwood episode, it'd be really cool to see a Torchwood customization that was Captain Combustible themed, or even maybe a Torchwood variant, or a Captain Combustible variant. No, you, you know what I mean. A Torchwood variant that is basically Captain Combustible, or in spirit, Captain Combustible, would be very, very cool. Cause if you don't know, Captain Combustible is a plant hero in PvZ Heroes that is basically, you know, he's a, you know like one of the grounded Torchwoods. And uh, he's like very damage based, like his idea is that he's trying to get a lot of plants out that do a lot of damage within a short amount of time and end the game very quickly. So it'd be cool to see a variant based on that idea. I just think that the games can, you know, really borrow from each other really well. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Let's, I like that guy's name, yeah buddy. So let's see, I do like the green shadow set up with the toxic feel. Like, this looks really cool. Hmm, come on. Oh, I can't quite get it. Let's try, uh... maybe I should make my way over to the left. Like usually you're able to sneak over better like that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for your support on both the Torchwood and the Hover Go videos. They did really well, a lot of you guys were still excited to see it, and that makes me happy, because like I said in those videos, I was really, really worried that people wouldn't be too interested in them, just because you know so many other people have already made videos on the two classes, and I just ended up being late with it, just because, you know, it's hard to control those things. You can't really control when you're gonna get the keys. But luckily enough, everything worked out great. You guys were still excited to see it, hear my thoughts on it, and to share yours, and that was cool. So thank you for being cool, super tastic and stuff. All right, let me go through the teleport. I always missed a teleporter entrance, and I'm like, oh yeah, I could have done that. Maybe I should uh, stand on top of the float like this. Oh, this is cool, this is really cool. Let me damage you up if I can. Oh, that hurt me though. Ooh, I can get you good, get you good, get you good. Oh, can I get the all-star though? Get off that point, that point's mine now. It's property of Green Shadow. Jeez, I don't know how he survived that one, but I might be able to poison him down. Oh, he's running away, but he's got that poison damage on him. It wasn't enough, though. He's hiding right there. Can I splash damage him? Oh, man. How did that land? not land? It's really good to shoot at the ground, but of course, he was sort of higher up than we were. 
Jeez, this guy has so much health. There you go, finally. No, no, the chili bean. Not what I wanted. Oh boy, let's sneak up to this guy. He doesn't even know I'm right behind him. Ah! <laughs> I feel like we helped our teammate get their way in there. So that's good. Oh, we're doing pretty good, 21 vanquishes. As a pea shooter, you know, most pea shooters, I'm not super good with the base pea shooter, the toxic pea, not really my class of choice for the most part, so being able to do this decent, I'm happy with it. I would like to be able to hop up on top of the floats again and do something similar to like I did. Hmm, whoa, well, I, I turned it up, but then it stopped me. I don't think I'm allowed to be turreted on that one. I don't know, maybe I just found a spot on the float where I was allowed to be turreted that I'm not really supposed to be. It's possible. Oh, can we get you? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. All right, let's get rid of the mech for sure, because he's gonna try to clear out the point. Ow, what? Why does it keep canceling my turret? That's just so rude. All right, you guys, we should be able to damage up. Ready, ready, one last jump. Yep, chili bean, catch it. <laughs> he tried to. Oh, that did a little bit. Come on, I know I'm out of bounds. Dang it. Hey, I got him though. Good stuff. We're playing pretty well. Let's try to hop out of Toxic Bean now. And who else would look good? I mean, I think... Hmm, it's hard to say exactly, but let's try Agent Bean. Appearance, he's looking very silly right now as it is. But let's go all the way down. We got so many customizations at this point, it's pretty crazy. It is, oh no, did I miss it? I think I missed it. Yep, there it is. Oh, that looks pretty cool. And then we'll get rid of some of this stuff. Just like that. It looks weird, but at the same time, it looks pretty cool. I don't think the bow tie and everything fits with it, but everything else is pretty cool with it. And I'm really not good with this class. I need to end up playing it more. Here, let's do it. Yeah, look at what did I say? I'm really not good with it. Come on. Gotcha. Oh, apparently I have a times two vanquish streak. Weird. I see you over here. Oh, he's trying to run away. And all the, every single teammate st stood in my way of my shots. Thank you. Ooh, you can get that 20 damage headshot though, so if you really could just be sneaky with it. I mean, that's what this class is all about, it's a spy. You gotta be sneaky. Oh, come on. There you go, there you go, there you go. Whoa, whoa, super brains. Yeah, there's super brains. But yeah, we'll be playing super brains in the next episode. We'll try out that smash hat and that'll be pretty cool. I just thought the little ragdoll out of the air. But yeah, a lot of people have been asking me about how you connect your EA account, so hopefully the little segment at the beginning of the video helped you out if you've been stuck with it. If you were still having troubles, like some people saying that button that, you know, where you connect your EA account doesn't even show up. I would suggest contacting like the PBZ Twitter, like they should be a little more qualified to help you, or even the EA customer support. A lot of people do go to YouTubers for customer support before they go to people who are paid to help them, <laughs> for whatever reason. But I do, my, I do what I can to help. But of course, like I said, the Plants vs. Zombies and like EA Origin, you know, Twitter accounts and everything, they are the people who were paid to help you, so I suggest going to them first. That's uh, whoa, oh no. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool though. I guess that all the P-Shooters do have black eyes now that I think about it, or at least the main ones. Let's try to get up there. But yeah, I would like to hear what you class you guys think looks the best with the Green Shadow customization. I really do think Green Shadow is a cool hero. I've been having horrible luck with her in game though recently. Like, I've been having like a really bad week with PVC heroes. Like, the last two or three weeks, I've been doing amazing. Like, I win almost every single game I play. But then this week, I've lost almost every single game I play. And it's just sort of like one of those things. Like, sometimes it's your week, sometimes it ain't. And this time around, I've been trying the Green Shadow Ice deck, where I just, you know, play a lot of ice characters. And it's worked for me very well in the past, but this time around, I'm just getting the worst pulls in the world. It's just like, it's it's never working out my way. <laughs> Luckily, the recordings have been staying pretty lucky. Like, I've been recording PVC Heroes a lot this week. I have like episodes 46 to 49 recorded, and they've all turned out really well. But it's just when I'm playing on my own time, just something switches and everything's been going horrible. So I figure we'll at least play to the end of this point. I mean, to the end of this uh, match, whatever it is. <laughs> We're going to the last point in the in the game here, and, and this one's cool. Like, usually I don't see the end of uh, Zimburbian so much, but we saw it for a second um, in yesterday's Gargochuar episode. Oh yeah, that's an all-star. <laughs> Should probably be attacking him, and the imps, and everybody. What team is Zebra on anyways? Who knows? Okay, so let's make our way to the dining hall. And, oh, let's go around. Excuse me, Colonel Corn, Corn of the Colonel. 
I wanna see if I can't do anything to this cake, but there's probably gonna be somebody waiting for me. Hey, hey, no. I'm gonna throw that chili bean, it's gonna be waiting for you when you get over here. Jeez, he did a good number on me. Oh, come on, come on. I know I can get you here, dude. Don't you run from me. I know you're trying to go for the kernel corn. No, come on. Oh my gosh, no, my battery level's low. I don't need that right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jeez, he is hard to hit. He's annoying little booty butt, I can tell you that much. Jeez, that took a lot of effort. Thank you, Kernicorn, for helping. All right, I'm gonna be sneaky, be sneaky, be sneaky. Be sneaky, be one with the sneak. We got it. The assist. Is this cake destroyed? The cake is destroyed. Nobody else has come down here. Good, good, good. That means I can save my turn. Our party is mostly ruined. Or it's not our party, but the party is mostly ruined. And I'll talk more about the zombie side heroes in the next episode. You know, of course, when we're doing stuff with the smash. I've been trying just to talk about the plant ones. I mean, there are so many cool plant heroes. I mean, I almost have all of them, all of the plant heroes in PPC Heroes currently. It would be cool if eventually we see new heroes make their way into the game. But right now, I have Chomzilla, I have Rose, I have Wall Knight, I have Citron, I have Green Shadow and Solar Flare. I think all I need is Spadow for sure, and Captain Combustible, and then I, I also have Nightcap. So I think I need Spadow, Captain Combustible, is that it? That might be it. I'm probably missing at least one. Hmm. I feel like I definitely am missing at least one, but I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head. I do have Rose. The most recent episode that's coming up soon, I'll be I'll be showing off Rose, but I'm just, ah, oh, he saw me. Okay, I was hoping he would, but he did. <laughs> is there a way to plop in overhead? I think there might be. Hmm. This is a little bit of an interesting situation, isn't it? I think we can get in there within, we have three minutes. We should be able to find a way to get in there. Brain bats. <laughs> but there are plenty of zombie heroes I still need to get. But like I said, I'll talk to the, talk about that when it's time. Now let's plop in from here. I guess this would be the best idea, huh? Is there people waiting for me is a problem? Whoa, I hear vibrations and scary noises. I don't know what to take from this. But no, this leads back out into the main area. Well, this is just confusing that. I thought there was a way to plop on down from there, but not looking like it currently. Oh, there's you. Oh, I could've got you. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Got you a little bit. Got you a little bit. Come on, come on. Yeah, shoot me or shoot the person who's interacting with the painting. I thought so. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, come on. I couldn't even attack at all. The animation took too long. Gosh darn. We might not actually be able to get this. I feel like it just takes a good chili bean. <laughs> well, that might be easier said than done. Two minutes to go and get it. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my bestest. Look at all these pea shooters. They're all trying to help out. Oh, here's a goat, here's a goat. Ooh, come back here, goat. Come back here. Ooh, ooh, landed a few on him, landed a few. I mean, the goat really doesn't have too much health. We learned that in the last episode. I mean, he's a fun class, no matter what. Library E, I love that. Can we get, we can't go down that from that way. I keep on thinking we can, but we can't. I swear that they were connected, but. I don't know, maybe I can go crazy. Ooh, look at that vanquish. All right, hey, can you stop it, mister? Oh, <laughs> he did like a super flip there. Hey, hey, hold on, chili bean. Oh, he hit the chili bean, went to the perfect spot, I think. Come on, distract him. Yes, I distracted him. <laughs> awesome, so I, I vanquished two people there, at the least, so hopefully that'll put a decent dent in it. We still need to get in there and mess with at least one more painting, I think. Well, I think we gotta get rid of all the paintings. I'm not really sure. Can I get you out of the way, dude? Oh, yep, get him, Jumper, get him. Got the assist. These guys just won't give up, though. They're like right on top of us and everything. Ooh. Come on, come on, you don't see me, so I'm trying to shoot you, but, oh, gotcha, there's a level four, too. We've got a few good levels with everybody. Chili bean down, chili bean down. Let it just follow him. Oh, might be able to get him, but he's running away. Gosh darn. Yeah, not working out in my favor. We do have a max rank player in here, which is cool. I think I've shown that I've reached rank 21 also. We're almost at rank 22. I've been gaining a lot of coins recently. I've been just playing the game as much as I can. And I, I, unfortunately, I ran out of time to get the uh, 10 rainbow stars for the third chest for the, uh, what's it called? The um, battle of accuracy, which I hope I deserve some slack because I didn't just have to earn up, you know, the 80 stars in total or 90 stars in total for the chest, you know, all three chests, but I also had to open up the, was it 65 stars for each or even more maybe? 
um, yeah, like the 65 stars for each of the class chests. So I've earned up at least like 200 something, maybe even 300 something rainbow stars already <laughs> for this. I don't know, it was a lot of stars, but all right. RIPZ Academy, goodbye. So it looks like we unfortunately lost, but I don't know how many times we've really seen this ending. Hooray, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't seen that ending very often at all, so it's cool to see. I didn't know what that weird plant pot thing was on the right end of the like the row of seats, so that was weird looking. I've never seen that before. But either way, there you go, we lost, hooray! So I figured we'd take one last look at every single pea shooter variant with the green shadow hat, mask, and little leaf swoop on. It looks so darn cool, I have to say. I think it's the coolest thing in the world that PvZ Heroes, in some way, shape, or form, is making its way back into Garden Warfare 2 because it's like the cycle has been made, right? It's like Garden Warfare 2 fueled a lot of PvZ Heroes. Like, if you think about it, you know, some of the stuff that was brand new to PvZ that came in Garden Warfare 2, like Super Brains and Citron and Rose and those kind of characters are now in Heroes and it's sort of, actually provides, if you pay attention to the game's comics, some backstory for those characters, which is just so cool. So to see it becoming, in some way, shape, or form, full circle, is just really cool to see, and hopefully we see more of it with customizations of every single PvZ Heroes character in Garden Warfare 2, in some way, shape, or form. Some people are saying it's already been like that, and they just haven't added it to the game. I'm not really sure for myself, because all I see right now are Green Shadow and the Smash, so we'll find out when that time comes, but for right now, that was the Green Shadow customization. Stay tuned for tomorrow, we'll do the Smashes for the Super Brains, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Shadow so I know you've watched it in the video and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. But other way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.